Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another reveals video for week nine of Bring Home the Bounty, the marketing sort of campaign for the uh, end of the rest of the year. Uh, three weeks left, I think. Um, it's all sort of living up to the Book of Boba Fett. Um, so yeah, I haven't done one of these for a few weeks just because the uh, Hasbro reveals haven't been sort of worthy of <laughs> doing a full video on, but um, I'm going to continue to make the effort no matter what. Um, just so I can keep this sort of stuff rolling. I enjoy doing these videos. So we're going to kick off with a couple of new Black Series reveals, um, official reveals, and uh, some TVC stuff. So let's take a look at what we've got. So first horse out of the gate is Boba Fett, based on his appearance at the end of Mandalorian Season 2. Um, you know, the last second last episode, I guess, third and last episode, um, as well as the... Uh, little post credit scene because this is a uh, you know Boba Fett throne room and uh, again Hasbro's just decided to go with deluxe packaging is it much of a deluxe figure I don't think it is but again like the recent release of Cobb Vanth which I have reviewed here on my channel um, they're giving decided to give him a bigger box I don't know why you can fit that all in a smaller box there's no sort of super duper extra accessories for this figure so why Hasbro's decided to go deluxe, I don't know. Um, it's it's a tough one. It's a tricky one to work out because he's not any bulkier than the rest, but we're going to have to fork out probably an extra $10, $15 for this thing at retail when he eventually hits. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to see how it looks. Um, obviously, there's some cool pictures of the box art here. Um, and this will be number two in the uh, Book of Boba Fett sort of subline. And we'll take a quick look at a couple of loose images uh, that have accompanied with this with uh, Hasbro's re reveals on uh, StarWars.com today. So he's looking he's looking pretty decent, um, reusing some of the elements from the most recent Boba Fett figure, which is coming out now in some areas of the United States and Asia. So it looks like he's reusing that sort of bottom half with the pants and and that, but the uh, top half is using some some new elements. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm looking forward to the Boba Fett, uh, the Tython Boba Fett, which is coming out now. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get a hold of them very, very soon. And next up, we have the official reveal of Fennec Shand, even though she was sort of leaked and uh, is showing up at retail again in some parts of the US and uh, Asia. So yeah, Fennec Shand officially revealed. <laughs> she was, she was, this thing came out before Hasbro got a chance to officially reveal but this figure looks fantastic. I'm really, really pumped for this one. She's looking fantastic. Let's take a look at a couple of loose images. First one is her without her helmet on. And, uh, you know, there are plenty of images out there you can take a look at. There are some more that Hasbro has put out for us. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd share a couple today. But yeah, she's looking really, really good. And then secondly, we have a helmeted image. So she looks really good in the helmet too. But the face face scan on this thing the face sculpt looks absolutely amazing so you wouldn't want to spend too much time having that helmet on just because you know you want to show off how good that figure looks without it really great likeness to Ming Na Wen and uh yeah really looking forward to seeing more Fennec Shand in Book of Boba Fett uh from the 29th of December all right jumping into some TVC and Hasbro has revealed three sort of deluxe vintage collection sets now I really like this I think this is fantastic this is a great way to go deluxe, add some accessories, some effects, you know, such as this one, Incinerator Trooper and Grogu. Uh, the Incinerator Trooper will be repacked. Um, I don't think the figure will be any different to the one we have um, had for about 12 months now. Uh, again, a, a new Grogu as well, um, sort of se semi-pre-posed by the looks of things, um, obviously. It works well, he's, he's blocking that fire. So yeah, I can't tell whether it's articulated or not. I haven't seen enough close-up images, but uh, that figure was one of the best. The storm, the incinerator trooper, he was fantastic. So to see some sort of cool flame effects, this is what TVC is all about. This is world building. This is wonderful. Really, really good stuff. Next up, we have Ahsoka Tano with Grogu. And again, this is another fantastic figure. Um, it's going to be the same as the regular TVC release for Ahsoka, but this time she's going to have her soft goods. So if you want to hold out and great way for this one to come out and grab the soft goods, if not, you'd be like most of us and grab both. The box art looks absolutely amazing. Just perfect from that, from that episode. 
even have the uh, convoy there as an accessory, world building accessory. And it looks like there is a bit of a lantern there sitting on the rock. Whether the rock is included is yet to be seen, but I doubt it. Um, <laughs> she looks absolutely fantastic and another sort of another different take on Grogu as well. Given that Hasbro has basically said every time they release a TVC Grogu, he's going to be ever so slightly different. So this is fantastic. This is really, really good. This is, again, world building. Well done, Hasbro. This is what TVC is for. Accessories, cool stuff, you know, amazing looking packaging. Can't give them enough credit for this one. Really looking forward to seeing how they come out. And the next one, the third one to come out, Imperial Stormtrooper, Navarro Cantina. This is, of course, going to go perfectly with your Navarro Cantina display um, playset that's going to come out sometime next year. This is fantastic. Um, yeah, again, really great packaging. Nice to get an eWeb cannon. You know, this thing is sweet. Another, Just a nice way to go and get a couple of Stormtroopers and some cool weapons. Again, world building, guys. This is what it's all about. And uh, just looking at the loose image here, I'm seeing one big difference in this photo with this Stormtrooper that we haven't seen yet. Rocker ankles. That is really, really nice. <laughs> really nice to see. That blast effect coming out of the end of the year 11 is fantastic. Uh, this is going to be great for those toy photographers out there. Let's just hope the Stormtroopers painted a little better than those ones we've been seeing coming out of those four packs. Um, yeah, they're not great, but uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, that this will be, you know, pr premium quality. And rounding out this one is Mandalorian and Grogu on Maldo Crease. Of course, they have shown this before on accident, so this is an official release, official reveal. Really looking forward to this pack too. This one looks fantastic, but I almost think now this one should be in a similar box to the ones I've just shown. Um, <laughs> but still, I'm not going to complain. Love, love the uh, Krickner spiders that are going to come out with this set. Of course, we're getting some with the uh, six inch black series version of this as well. But yeah, really, really loving this. So let's just get a quick look at the loose image of the Krickner spiders, the egg and Mandalorian with Grogu, each with a little bit of weathering and uh, yeah, slightly different leg on Mando there. So he has upgraded his armor to having that Q90 um, leg plate on his on his thigh there. So which he uh, did in which he did in episode one or prior to chapter nine, I think. Um, but yeah, looking really, really great. So yeah, that's Bring Home the Bounty Week 9. That's just the Hasbro reveals. There was some cool stuff from SH Figure Arts. They're doing a couple of uh, Visions inspired stuff, as well as a Ronin and his droid Vision Funko Pop pack, as well as a couple of other cool things. Um, definitely go StarWars.com, check that all out. Um, thank you very much for joining me for another new reveals. I love talking about this stuff. I'm excited. These sets, these reveals today were absolutely fantastic. Love to hear your thoughts. Drop them in the comments below. Um, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Until the next one, may the force be with you always.